Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we are filming with the Ray-Ban Metas. This is just gonna be purely on this. Right now we're on the bike, and I'm kinda of curious to see how this is gonna turn out. We're gonna be going quick down these roads. It's gonna be a lot of wind noise. I tried this out last night. At night, it looked great. Uh, during the day, it's gonna be better. These have much better stabilization than I thought before. And last night when I was riding on the Manhattan Bridge, you could actually hear me, which is shocking. There is a train next to me. That's insane. So by the way, while I'm riding, I do have my AirPod Maxes on. They're playing music. So I'm kind of curious to see if this is going to um, disrupt the audio from this because it's right next to where the microphone is. Last night I was wearing the AirPods Pro, the little earbuds, and they had no issue with it whatsoever. So we'll see exactly what's gonna happen here. By the way, today is the first day of the NBA season. So we're gonna be, like, we're ready for it here. I'm wearing my Lakers jersey, and tomorrow, I'm going to the Knicks game with these glasses on, too. We'll see if these give me any, um, any issue. But yeah, mention how good the stabilization is or not. So another thing that I uh, did not go for was I did not go for the warranty on these, which is like a $50 thing they offered at Sunglass Hut. And I was like, should I go for it after the fact? I know Apple, you can add it on after, but I don't know. Maybe it's something I need. For $50, you get a $100 replacement. I don't think it covers uh, theft. Wait, yeah, it doesn't cover theft and loss, but it covers uh, damages. So one of the main reasons why I wear these... All right, little one. One of the reasons why I wear these glasses is for uh, wind. On the bike, it was pretty fast, and I have sensitive eyes, so this definitely helps. All right, so we are stabilized. I'm not gonna be moving my head around too much. I'm just kind of like on this corner. First, the video quality has been great. Um, I noticed that when I make jerky movements, it does make me feel sick watching it. So I can imagine just, um, don't make jerky movements. Even like, I did a little head bob like this. That's just kind of how I naturally move. I would say use your head as a tripod. Whatever you're looking at, keep it front and center. If you're kind of looking at here, keep it front. If you kind of use your eyes to look around, um, it's not gonna be that entirely clear. So don't, don't do a lot of like moving back and forth. I'm also curious to see uh, how long the battery lasts when I'm constantly recording 60 second clips. I woke up, uh, battery on the glasses was 100%. Battery on the case was 100% as well. So hopefully, maybe we get to where I'm going with 70% left. I'm just gonna be loading this up with a lot, a lot, a lot of clips because I, I'm really, I really want to test this out. I really want to see um, how well this does. So far, so good. So far, I'm happy with this.
I think the sun looks beautiful right now, which is why I want to turn the recording on. I'm going to stay quiet for this one. The one thing that I'm learning about myself is I assumed that I would be making a lot of head movements because I tend to look around at all of my surroundings when I'm on a bike. But what I'm noticing is my head stays pretty much stationary, except for if I'm doing like a wide look. But I use my eyes a lot more, which makes the footage remarkably more stable than I thought. And I'm pretty happy with that. By the way, again, Look at this view. It's so beautiful. I love this. Alright, guess in the comment section below what's the battery going to be when I get there. This ride's usually about 20 minutes on the bike. Alright, I usually stop right there, but I have to look around here because this sun is amazing and I really want to make sure, like, what does this look like in camera here? There's a lot of sun, there's a lot of shadow, it looks beautiful, I just want to make sure that this part here isn't blown out. And hopefully I don't get hit by cars. But again, even with the last night's filming, I am very happy with the, uh, the wind reduction and the noise cancellation to isolate my voice. Uh, one thing I like about the record button and by the way, I did switch it to a single tap for video and a longer press for photo. Um, the button itself is long. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to miss it, but then it is long enough where I'm still able to capture and press. And right now, if you can see, I have gloves on. So it's not, the, not an exact science. And by the way, uh, sun's so bright right now, I can't quite see the tally light on my right side. I can kind of see it if I'm looking at it, but I can't see it out of my peripheral. It's not super, super clear. Wow, the sun decided to be uh, beautiful today for this, this recording. I'm really happy.
So one thing that I take for granted and I forget all the time is I work in Dumbo and we have one of the best views on the waterfront. So we just completed our ride. We're walking right now, so the stabilization may feel a little bit different. I may be turning my head a little bit different too. I'm putting my gloves back on because it's cold. We're by the waterfront. It is, I don't even know what, uh, what the temperature is today. Oh, yeah, my Apple Watch has not been working right. But look at that. Beautiful, beautiful view. We're gonna be taking a few clips all around here. So one of the things I think may be an issue when it's not cold like this is overheating. Uh, it will be warm this this weekend, and I have a, a group ride, so maybe we'll see if these things start warming up and overheating if I use them too much, but because it's so cool today, I'm not having any of that issue, and because of all the wind that's pushed through me on the bike, again, not really having that issue. So I'm kind of curious, back to back to back clips, what is that exactly going to do? There are times when I want longer than 60 second clips, but I'm thinking when I share the stories, because of course this is a meta thing, so not sponsored, but I share to Instagram a lot. My stories are usually about 60 seconds and that's what I do. And the way it's oriented uh, four by three, that's just kind of, you know, the duration, everything kind of works for this. But I would like the option to have a little bit more widescreen for YouTube because the crop, I tried it out and it's, it does degrade of course, but it just doesn't look right and I can't figure out how to frame it yet. Because, wait, it's gonna stop in a sec. Because, so my glasses, if I have a camera, I know how to frame something here, but my glasses have it, the tendency to kind of move down the bridge of my nose, which means sometimes I can't quite tell what exactly is the center of the frame so I can like keep it consistent to, um, you know, get that, get that widescreen ratio, that 16 by nine. By the way, so this is how I look normally. Now I'm gonna look up at the bridge, see exactly what's better. For a moment, I almost ran into these things because I was like looking up too much. It's kind of weird. Um, if I wanted to, I could use my head as a tripod. Going from here, this shot. Moving like this, I, I do feel weird making that movement. I mean, it's something like, if you're trying to get the shot, you're trying to get the shot, and that's perfectly fine. But for me, moving slowly like this, I know what I'm looking like here in person. Um, I do tend to clean my glasses. I've never cleaned these ones yet because I only got them a few days ago with like a clean cloth, but I forgot if the camera <laughs> is clean. Because if it's not clean, this is gonna not look so good. But wow, this is beautiful. I'm taking my gloves off and I'm actually gonna record on my phone.
so you can watch me record here. I was trying to be stable. With the sun directly in my eyes, I kind of forgot if this light was on, and I really have to focus on that, um, as, yeah, especially when there's sun, especially on this side too, because this is the only side that the tally light is on. I think, wait, the camera's on this one or this one? I always forget which one it is. All right, we're gonna take one last clip here. We're gonna call it a day. So what do you guys think? We've gone from biking to walking. We're in this beautiful picturesque location. I'm really happy with it. But yeah, what do you think of the stabilization? What do you think of the sound? What do you think of the stupid people around here? I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, this is Matt for Creative. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.